The world has taken another huge step toward discovering the universe, and we are all fortunate to be witnessing it all right in front of our eyes. The space giants have created an unrivaled machine that defies comparison. NASA is on the front lines, and SpaceX is transporting the world's astronauts to space, as NASA's new insane telescope gets launched into space by SpaceX Falcon 9. New discoveries will be discovered, and history will be created. What kind of craziness is this telescope? What is its purpose? What advantages would its application offer to humanity? We're sure these thoughts have crossed your head by now, so stay tuned and keep your eye out as we unveil the answers to these questions. The Indomitable SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket blasted off with NASA's imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer IXPE satellite, first announced back in 2017. The IXPE is the only satellite capable of measuring the polarization of X-rays that comes from cosmetic sources such as black holes and neutron stars. The enormous-sized satellite has three telescopes that keep track and accurately measure the direction, arrival time, energy, and polarization of light. When data from all the three telescopes are combined, NASA can form images that could give the world insights into how heavenly objects are, those that emit X-ray work. For instance, NASA is hoping this could give humans a more thorough look at the structure of the crab structure, a supernova remnant with a neutron star rapidly spinning in its center. By observing and analyzing the black hole, the IXPE will help scientists gain more insight and expand human knowledge on the various parts of space we still barely know. It could provide various clues on why they spin and how they scoff up cosmic materials though this could eventually pave the way for discoveries. Martin Weisskopf, the mission's head investigator, said during a briefing, IXPE will help us test and refine our current theories of how the universe works. We may even discover more exciting theories about these exotic objects than what we have hypothesized. Let's quickly look into the Falcon 9. In Cape Canaveral, SpaceX successfully launched its 28th rocket of the year early Thursday morning, December 2021, flying an X-ray observatory into space for NASA. A used Falcon 9 rocket took off into the sky at 1 a.m. from Pad 34A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Ferrying the imaging X-ray polarimetry, Explorer IXPE, to space, making the fifth mission for this particular booster, NASA's TV launch commentator, Daryl Nail, during a live broadcast said, lift off of Falcon 9 and IXPE, a new set of X-rays eyes to view the mystery of our skies. What is this satellite all about? The IXPE satellite, which is similar to the size of a fridge, is a $214 million awarded by NASA to SpaceX, which aims to explore and discover the scientific secrets behind some of the cosmos's most unique objects, such as the black holes and neutron star. The satellite, making use of its three telescopes, will be studying how light waveforms relatively to the direction of the waves. These experiments will be conducted from some of the universe's most dramatic heavenly bodies. Astronomers will be able to refine such structures and study the mechanism that powers this kind of mysterious heavenly body. The IXPE will join the level of NASA's other X-ray observing satellites, like the Chandra Space Telescope, which orbits much more than IXPE will. This flight marks the 131st overall flight of SpaceX Falcon 9, and also the 28th Falcon 9 to successfully fly in 2021. This beats SpaceX records for the most rockets launched in a year, although SpaceX launched about 26 in 2020, with two more launches on the schedule before the end of the year. Recording a successful liftoff, the rocket's first stage landed on one of SpaceX's large drone ships, which is called Just Read the Instruction, after which it hauled back to the port to fly again. The mission most importantly is scheduled strictly for two years, and the observatory would be placed at about 600 kilometers altitude, orbiting around the Earth equator. The IXPE mandate is to study roughly 40 celestial objects throughout their first year in space. Thomas Zerbuchin, Associate Administrator for the Science Mission, Director Audates at NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C., said, The IXPE is going to show us the violent universe around us, such as the exploding stars, black holes at the center of the galaxies, in which ways we have never been able to see it. The IXPE carries three expendable space telescopes. Each of the three telescopes hosts one light-bodied X-ray mirror and detector unit, which will help carefully view or detect polarized X-rays from neutron stars and mega black holes. By successfully measuring these polarized X-rays, we can study where light emanates from and understand the geometry and functionality of the light source. This research and analysis are very vital, because they could answer lots of questions such as, how do black holes spin? Was the black hole at the center of the Milky Way actively eating up surrounding objects around it in the past decades? How do pulsars shine so brightly in X-rays? What powers the jet of energetic particles that are ejected from the region around the enormous black holes at the center of the galaxy? It is a great ton of work ahead for the astronomers, but these are necessary steps to provide lots of answers and discoveries for mankind. Most people will be wondering how the IXPE and the X-ray telescope works, right? 
according to an article by Martin C. Weisskopf from the IXPE team. If you look closely at the IXPE, you will see the spacecraft and its solar panels are on the left, and the rare of these three telescopes equipped are on the right. At the heart of each telescope, the system is a polarized sensitive imaging detector, which allows brown band X-rays polarimetry with low net background and minimal, if any, systemic effects, invented and manufactured by Italian members of the team, and refined over the past 15 years to a maximum level of maturity. These gas pixel detectors, GPD, utilize the anisotropy of the emission direction of the photoelectrons produced by polarized photons to gauge with high sensitivity the polarization state of X-rays interacting in a gaseous medium. In photoelectric interaction, the dominant interaction process for 2,8 cap photons, the ejected K-shell photoelectrons have an emission direction peaked around that of an electric field of the photon with a COS2 distribution. Thus, for polarized X-rays, photoelectrons are preferentially emitted in the polarization direction. After ejection, each photoelectron interacts with its surrounding gas and is slowed by ionizing collisions and scattered by nuclei until it eventually stops. The resulting string of ionization, or photoelectrons, track marks the path of photoelectrons from its creation at the original X-ray interaction site to its stopping points. It is in the initial part of this track where the information on this initial electron direction becomes recorded. The distribution of this direction for many detected tracks then determines both the degree of polarization and the position angle in relationship with the incident photon's beam. This is amazing, right? Martin Weiskopf also stated that IXPE can obtain scientifically meaningful polarimetry images of the brightest extended X-ray sources, an active galactic nucleus, AGN, jet, a few pulsar nebulae, PWNE, and a few shell-type supernova remnant, SNR, position, and energy-dependent polarization maps of such synchrotron emitting source will elucidate the magnetic field structure of the X-ray emitting regions, which may differ from roles of regions emitting in other spectral bands. Its radioactive lifetime for X-rays emitting electrons are much shorter than those of electrons radiating at lower energy levels. X-ray polarimetric imaging better indicates the magnetic structure in regions of electron acceleration, according to the IXPE team. Besides mapping the X-ray polarization of extended sources, IXPE imaging capabilities avoid source confusion, in most cases by resolving point sources from surrounding nebular emission or adjacent point sources. In the absence of good angular resolution, polarization measurement of individual sources in the absence of good angular resolution, then polarization measurement of individual sources in a confused region are impossible without other information, such as phase resolved flux of a pulse source. Even in those cases where a pulse point course can be isolated, from a steady extended source using phase resolved data. The statistical noise due to the extended source sensitivity depends upon the angular resolution of the telescope system. This shows that it's a long process, but beneficial sacrifice to attain unprecedented discoveries and new possibilities for mankind. Don't you think this is an exciting adventure for these astronauts? What do you think about NASA's X-ray telescope? What amazing discoveries do you think we should expect at the end of this adventure? What impact do you think NASA's X-ray telescope would bring to the space universe? Remember to drop your comments below in the comment section below. Thanks!